Pak War of 1965 was at its peak. Pakistan, in a bid to infiltrate JNK, launched Operation Gibraltar with 30,000 well-trained guerrillas. India too reacted swiftly by capturing Haji Pir and Phir Sahiba areas. In the meanwhile, Pakistan's 1st Armoured Division and 11th Infantry Division crossed the international border and captured the Indian town of Khemkaran. The situation was tensed. The Indian Army had to fall back. Something had to be done quickly. It was then that GOC Indian Mountain Division, Major General Harbaksh Singh, ordered the division to assume a horseshoe defensive position with Asal Uttar as the focal point. And Brigadier Thomas K. Theograj strategized the division's next plan. That night, the Indian troops flooded the adjoining sugar cane fields and lured the Pakistani tanks, mainly M47 and M48, patterned inside the horseshoe trap. The swampy ground slowed and trapped the Pakistani tanks. Seeing the Pakistani tanks trapped, Company Quartermaster Havaldar Abdul Hamid moved out to a flanking position with its recoilless gun mounted on a jeep. He knocked out the leading enemy tank and then swiftly changed the positions. Further, he kept attacking and destroying the enemy tanks with his recoilless gun. While doing so, he was mortally wounded by an enemy high-explosive shell. But due to his efforts, India was able to destroy over 100 and capture more than 40 park tanks. Havaldar Abdul Hamid was posthumously awarded Param Veer Chakra for his complete disregard for his personal safety during the operation. The Battle of Asal Uttar is described as one of the largest tank battles in history since the Battle of Kursk in World War II.